Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Social One, and today I want to do another Apex Legends update video. And we have a few different things to talk about today. But the first thing is that we are getting a new gun coming today. Now, the post was at like 2.30 p.m. Eastern, I'm pretty sure, yesterday. But it's going to be coming out the 20th. And they showed this teaser right here of the gun called the Havoc. And as you can see, it looks to be an AR. And it is an energy weapon. Um, it was data mined before this was coming out and one of the developers in the in the post below the Twitter post They kind of replied to someone saying it was an energy weapon Now there's a few things in the video One thing specific that it looks like the gun does power up right here and then shoot like a big shot or it's either doing that or just shooting more um, like powering up and shooting faster, but I think it's powering up to hit a like a harder hitting attack basically now this was data mined with a good amount of information that seems to be correct so it is the havoc rifle it is an ar it is an energy weapon so it's a third energy weapon in the game after the triple take and the devotion it has three attachment slots so a stock slot a um sight slot which can go up to the normal ar stuff so the two to four um variable and then the times three and then it has two other slots or one other slot that can that in the in this it shows it can either have a selective fire receiver which is for the prowler to make it fully auto um and that's the only thing that's used for and then a turbocharger which is only used in the devotion to make it spin up faster um and i'm wondering if these are just you know data mined incorrectly or not actually going to be in it or if these are actually going to have um if they're both going to be useful so over here it's data mined two firing modes they both say single shot for some reason um one's 102 rpm rounds per minute and one's 670 now i assume this is the change between fully auto and single fire which if you can use a selective fire receiver on it would make sense that it starts out as a single fire one that you can probably shoot as fast as you want or as fast as you can click and then there's a full auto version if you get the selective fire that shoots very quickly but there's a few things that could be cool if both these end up being used so the selective fire you could do fully auto or single just kind of that's it and then the turbo charger could possibly be a few things so it could be just it spool it spools up faster um which it doesn't seem to actually have it seems to just be because there's no rpm difference it seems to just be like a normal firing weapon so maybe it shoots faster but that doesn't really make sense because if a selective fire is also there then you wouldn't be able to shoot fully auto anyway so what i'm thinking is the weapon might have two firing modes or two possible attacks so it might have its normal attack because as you can see it's shooting fully auto right there we don't know if that is a selective fire receiver on it or not. And then it has this like charge up attack. So what I'm thinking, if these are both actually usable on the weapon, is that the one goes from single fire to fully auto with the select fire. And then the turbocharger, it has a secondary attack baseline. And then a the turbocharger makes that secondary fire that you probably charge up. What it looks like is you charge up an attack or a shot that does much more damage in one shot um so the turbocharger would fire that up quicker or spin it up quicker to shoot that heavier attack quicker um but we don't know exactly how that's going to play out if these are even going to be actually usable we'll be able to see today but it's a pretty cool idea whichever way they end up implementing it and the damage for this weapon is 18 to the body and 36 to the head um 202 to 404 dps that'd be 404 all headshots and that is, um, that's the data mine information for it. It's a 25 round clip, which is nice because the energy weapons can't, don't have extended mags for them. And 25 rounds is pretty good. I think a R301 with the best, with the epic mag is like 30 rounds. I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken. And that's pretty high, but it requires a epic mag. So this 25 baseline, if there's a lot more energy ammo is going to make this weapon, a really good weapon especially at the start of the game if you get one of these super early it's going to be really good because you don't need an extended mag to have a decent amount of ammo in it so next up we have a few small updates right here if i can actually get to them um 
And these were a couple days ago. I think it says yesterday here, but I think it was a couple days ago. And they fixed just some small crash and stuff. So fix for PS4 crash issues, address issues we saw with GPU hangs, which I'm pretty sure was like GPU halting and stuff. Um, I think this might have been an issue. Like there was freezes and stuff for PC players because I play in PC that some of the people I play with were having um, where you'd freeze and then your game would just close because it like would just kind of think the game wasn't responding it closed super quickly um so maybe that would help with that um fix your crash when pressing button early and load process that might have been a crash issue as well that randomly clicking buttons i guess when you're loading would crash you um fix issues where players would sometimes do slowly after revive this is a pretty big change because if you guys haven't had this happen it's pretty terrible so basically, when you revive, you just move slower. And that would suck when you just get revived because you're one shot. So you're moving slower now. You're just super easy to get redowned instantly. Um, fix issue with Mirage ability causing crashes. And fix issue with Gibraltar Epic skins on Ep Xbox One causing crashes. Um, all good stuff. I mean, it's a small patch. It's just, um, you know, fixing crashes and some other performance issues um it's always good that they keep doing that stuff and even though we are getting a new weapon hopefully we start getting more new content for this game because if this game truly wants to keep up and beat fortnite or even keep up with fortnite which it's doing a pretty good job right now but if they want to keep that going they're gonna have to keep doing updates keep fixing stuff keep adding new stuff which it seems they're going along that route which is going to be pretty good um and next we have for twitch prime if you guys have amazon prime and link it to your twitch so you have twitch prime you can get a free omega point pathfinder skin which is a legendary skin it's a recolor of a legendary skin that's already there it's purple and black it's like the really thick skin you can see here um and then you get five apex packs so just a bunch of free stuff um which is really good and it's pretty surprising we're getting stuff from twitch prime for this game this quickly because usually games take months and months even if they're super popular i think fortnite was probably a couple months after it got super popular um but that's always good everyone likes free stuff so go pick this up if you have amazon prime and twitch prime um and hopefully we keep getting more of this stuff because a lot of people will legitimately just get on to get this stuff and then play some games that maybe they wouldn't have played before just because they got free stuff and getting free stuff and just giving free stuff to players to play your game all the time is always going to help, you know, your community image and, you know, the feel your community has that they're, you know, just willing to give out free stuff to the people that play the game, which is always good for the health of communities around games. Um, and next we have another not really leaked. It was a data mine thing. And this data mine stuff is pretty much all by real apex leaks which is this twitter page um and they leak or they don't really i guess they it's technically leaked but it's all data mine stuff and they do a lot of the data mining so go follow them on twitter i'll put a link in the description um and they basically data mine that there is a possible game mode because for data mining it could be, you know, files that aren't going to be used. It could be stuff that was scrapped. It could be stuff that's coming farther down the line. It could be stuff left over files that were from like the other Titanfall games, which I don't think these ones really are because of how, you know, they're kind of in how they kind of are in the files that they're kind of, you know, built for this game and not for a Titanfall game. Um, but that this game mode, it's also in this article that they kind of explain how this game mode would work. And it's basically a recruit game mode. So basically what happened is it would be three teams have 20. Um, and it would be, you know, your normal battle royale, your normal Apex game. Um, but when you down somebody, they still have the 30 second like bleed out time. But you could go recruit or revive and recruit that person that you just downed from an enemy team and then they would be on your team so say if you got someone down super early in the game now your team has 21 and that can go back and forth and this adds like a really cool dynamic that do you want to finish that person off and thirst them and kill them get them out of the game or do you want to revive them um or try to revive them possibly get killed or something like that and get them on your team now, this is a really cool 
kind of um twist on this type of game mode because there's like the 50 v 50 from fortnite there's all those type of big um you know a few big teams versus a few big teams something like that from other battle royale games and it does this does add some more counterplay um and make it probably a bit funner um this could also make it a bit more competitive i don't know if this would ever be like a competitive game where they do like like super hardcore tournaments for that aren't just kind of like fun tournaments um but it does seem like a pretty cool idea um this also would speed up the game a little bit and what i mean by that is even though apex legends um does kind of have the quickest like game to game um of any battle royale game because you don't have the like pre-lobby stuff so you get in game super quick um this would also make the game kind of go quicker make people be able to play more because even if you're a bad player and someone downs you they don't know you're a bad player or not it doesn't matter because a lot of times they're still going to want to try to um revive you and recruit you to their team because that's just a better chance of them winning the game it's basically whoever whichever team has someone alive last person alive that team wins um now there are a bunch of their leaks especially on you know this twitter page that show like you know solos um like a 24 squad game um like some survival game that has a like crowd cheering and stuff it has a bunch of different um stuff that was data mine so i'm gonna do a different video on all the different modes that could be coming to apex legends because there are quite a bit that have been data mined um that sound pretty cool um and that will definitely be a way to keep the game fresh just have a bunch of new different game modes that are kind of fun that aren't like super serious you can do other stuff there's even a game mode that possibly shows you know much more titan fall esque gameplay with like running on walls and actual titans in it so they could do a ton of cool stuff with you know um kind of secondary game modes that aren't the main game mode that are just kind of fun that you do and you don't want to play the main game mode right now but that's pretty much it i'll be doing a video of all of those uh different game modes we could possibly get um but Subscribe if you want to see more Apex Legends content. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you think about Apex Legends as a whole. Um, what you think about the new gun. What you think it'll be. It'll be coming out soon. Um, what you think about all the data mine new game modes. And thanks for watching.